is it a, a point gained or two points dropped? Um, I'd have to say at the, the timing of the goal, I'd say it's a point gained. Um, but I think second half we were a better team. I think I don't think they did they have a shot on our goal apart from the goal they had, and that was our mistake, um, losing the ball in the final third. And then I've just said to the lads, you know, we've we've got to we've got to identify or anticipate um, us, us not keeping the ball in the final third, and we didn't do that. And uh, we were on the ascendancy, and we've we've, we've been hit with a sucker punch. Do you think our midfield was a bit overrun at times during the first half? Yeah, that's why I changed it at half time. You made some changes before the before the, before the game. Can you tell us why you brought Brownie and goal? And yeah, I, yeah. I, again, you know, I, I spoke to both keepers on Saturday prior to the, the game on Saturday. Uh, I thought Brownie was excellent against Coventry. Uh, he was unlucky not to start on Saturday. Um, Bouch had come back, um, so we've got two good keepers, and um, you know, we, we've. It's difficult to keep both of them happy. So what I'm doing is, is, is looking at both and uh, and, give, and giving them both an opportunity. Obviously, Lewis Farmer made his debut coming on for the second half. What did you thought about his performance? He's a tidy player. Um, I thought we were being overrun in the first half, 35 minutes before we actually got ourselves into a into a, a pattern of play. Um, and against uh, the likes of Leek and um, other teams that we're going to come up against, we can't afford that because we'll be punished. So I just felt that that midfield area needed changing, uh, and um, I thought he did that. Perfectly, I, I, he came on for for a, a young lad, um, not played before um, with us. I thought he did a, a really good job. Do you think sometimes we have to gamble a bit in when the ball drops in the box in the opposition box? Do we have to gamble because there seemed to be only Jake at times in the box? Really, there's no one there to. Yeah, well, that's that's why I brought Tom on. Um, you know, uh, Danny, Danny was working great in there, he was, he was getting on the ball, um, he was trying to get in the transitions of getting that second knock or, or helping towards um, JJ up top. Um, again, I changed that from Saturday and put JJ more frontal, um, but uh, we just weren't getting on that second ball and it was dropping in those areas of the box and we just weren't getting on the end of them. So I, I just thought for the last 30 minutes um, we wanted to take that gamble and get Tomo on there and he did that. He, he, he managed to sort of like get onto that um, second ball and, and create an issue um, which we weren't getting. Um, but look, it, again, it was a, it was a tough game. Uh, I didn't think first half we were on it, um, to be quite honest. And then obviously we made those changes. Second half, I thought we were a much better team. Obviously a lot of our attack seems to be coming down the left. Is that something we've got to work on the right a bit more? Because a lot of our attack seems to be come from Jay a lot. Yeah, but you know, naturally the lads are, are, are looking towards Jay because he's he, at this moment in time he's been our most creative and, and, and attacking um, you know, winger. So, you know, why not use him? Let's you know let, let's continue with that and, and get our strengths. He's got his goal again tonight. Um, you play to your strengths. Um, and yeah, you could turn around and say we, we want more from the right hand side. But I thought Berksy did a great job in, you know, tracking back and, and, and helping Blaine. And we had some good overlaps from both Blaine and um, uh, Jack Kelly. Bearing in mind that's Jack's first game in what three weeks. Um, so you know, we've, I think we've, we've I, you know, we've huffed and puffed in that in that second half, and we've not really created a, an absolute goal scoring opportunity apart from JJ's shot which the keeper saved um, and then obviously um, you know uh, Jay Verm has gone through and, 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 and finished well. Finally we've got Leek on non-league are we forced to go into that game? Well it's a, it, it's a big game isn't it you know they're uh, top of the league and it, it's going to be a tough game but uh, they're all tough games we're finding that out as we, as we went through we're unbeaten in since run call, we've not been beaten in open play, or you can say we were beat on the penalties, but in open play we, we, we've not been beaten yet. We've conceded, how many goals is it? Three. So, um, look, we, we will set ourselves up after training on Thursday. We know what to expect from league. We've played them a couple of times this season already. So it's going to be a tough game, but we, we, we've got to work hard and, um, and stick together. And we're doing that. And I think it's shown in that last you know, 10, 15 minutes, how much we want to get ourselves back in games uh, if we go behind. And, you know, games before we might not have done that. And, uh, and I think uh, the lads have shown resilience to get back in the game. So, yeah, we'll get ourselves sorted out. We'll get ourselves ready. And uh, hopefully we'll be uh, on song for, uh, for Saturday against League.